yeah. Greetings, comrades. This is Amigam and Caleb, back with another somewhat unexpected unboxing video. Now, uh, I recently got my income tax. I can talk today. I recently got my income tax check in, and uh, one of the big things I need to do is get new glasses. But I figured since I have a little extra on the side, I figured I'd upgrade my good old Switch. And yeah, I know I'm a little late to the party, and uh, pretty sure you've seen a lot of people unbox this. But you haven't seen a dumb fat ass like me unbox it. And here we go. I finally decided to go for the Switch OLED. And I got the uh, one with the white Joy-Cons. So I don't confuse it with the regular one. <laughs> but yeah, I know I'm a little late to the party, but better late than never, right? And I figured I might, get, might as well get it now, because there's no time when Nintendo's next console will be out. Some say it's this year, some say it'll be next year. I don't know, and you know, I still can't wait for it. But in the meantime, I figured I'd make the switch to the OLED switch. Which I'm keeping the other switch. I'll use that for like when I'm like uh, on my breaks at work. Just you know, something to play around with. I don't feel like watching YouTube or whatever. But yeah, the Switch OLED. 7 inch screen is like 6.2. And of course, OLED. So it's a lot clearer. And has more storage. 64 gigs as opposed to 32 gigs. So that's right nice. I'm going to move my... Uh, all I got to do is pick up my SD card and put it in here. And I'm good to go. And it does have a few improvements over the original Switch design. Uh, obviously, the, the screen's going to be a little bigger and clearer, but uh, and has more storage. But the kickstand is improved as well. Instead of like a little flimsy little rod, it's an entire like section that folds out. Gives it a lot more stability. So it's a good thing on Nintendo's part. Joy-Cons are pretty much the same, but uh, the dock, what I hear, has a built-in Ethernet port, whereas with the original dock, you had to buy a separate uh, Ethernet dongle in order to connect it to the internet wired instead of using Wi-Fi, which here in my room, Wi-Fi is a little spotty. It takes forever to, for the eShop to load, which is why sometimes I head to the living room where the Switch is a little better. But I do plan on getting a separate Ethernet dongle for the other regular Switch docks. So yeah, I might as well look at the box and the size, see what it is. It's another Switch OLED, seven inch OLED screen. Put it in the center, it's a little more professional. Who am I kidding? 7-inch OLED screen, 64 gigabyte system memory, dock with LAN port, yeah, has a built-in Ethernet port as opposed to the regular dock where you had to buy a separate USB dongle in order to connect it to the Ethernet. And an adjustable stand, which I mentioned that, has a much improved kickstand. And of course, shows all the ways to play it, tabletop mode, TV mode, with the uh, kind of divisive Joy-Con controller grip. <laughs> And uh, also controversial separate Joy-Con controllers, which, like I said, the Joy-Cons are pretty much the same. So same finicky thumbsticks and whatnot. That's why I stick to using like the controllers and stuff. That's why I have the 8-bit no controllers. We just got the Mexico controller and those PXA controllers are pretty decent too. So I have plenty of ways to play with the controller in TV mode. And of course, handle mode, which I got recently got the Nexigo Red Cards Muscle Short off here. Really good, really good for the price. And there are several different, like, I guess you call them grip controllers for the Switch, but this is, I had this in the Hori Switch Pad Pro, and it's a decent option, but this here, even better, because again, all of that joysticks and all that stuff. And funny thing, when you fit the regular Switch, there's like a little gap here. And here, which, which of course is for the Switch and Switch OLED, which when the regular Switch seeing those gaps signifies that the OLED version is going to be a little bit wider, which makes sense. It has a bigger screen. Here's the side here. Shows what it comes with. You know the console, the Joy Cons, the straps. You know HDMI cable, the dock, the Joy Con grip, and the AC adapter, which. Uh, Honestly, installing this is going to be really easy. I don't even have to completely move all the wires and stuff. I can literally just use the same wires for that and just, well, I'll just unplug the old dock and put the new one in. Though, technically, you can use the, uh, pretty sure you can use the old in the same original dock. It's just, the only difference is that it has a, this has a built in Ethernet port, whereas the regular Switch dock does not. That's pretty much the only difference, as far as I can tell. But anyway, yeah, no knife for this because, well, there's no tape, which is, that's how all the Switch packaging is actually, which is 
Kind of weird, but hey, let me move the fry puff. It's not shaking, possibly. But yeah, I've, I was. There's how I got this. I was, you know, doing some shopping at Affy earlier, and decided to swim my best buy. For you know what? While I'm here, let's go and get the old egg. And it's gonna be a nice little unboxing experience for me. Now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is the first console I ever bought with my own money. Like every other console I had before, you know, the 360, you know, the PS2, you know, family members bought them, you know, especially my parents, rest in peace. And yeah. Well, if you count the Steam Deck, I guess this would be the second console I bought with my own money. But uh, I'm not sure if you call the Steam Deck a console, it's more like a handheld PC, gaming PC, I guess. Anyway, I'm talking, let's get the unboxing going, shall we? And here we go. Really nice presentation, I'm not gonna lie. So here's the Switch itself. Yeah, it may not look that big, but again, it's a teeny bit wider than the old Switch, and of course the screen's bigger. Seven inches instead of 6.2. And here are the Joy-Cons. Yeah, so I go for the whites. So if I get, if I get the regular blue and red, I'm a, I might confuse it with the original Switch. <laughs> yeah, and here we got the uh, structure manuals. I don't know, this is just like the, letting you know about the system updates and whatnot. So yeah, that's that. Oh yeah, my new Nexico controller is done charging. I didn't that. And of course, cables, this is always fun. So there's the HDMI cable. Here's the AC adapter. Here are the uh, Joy-Con straps. Here's the Joy-Con grip. I already have one of these, so now I have another one. And here is the dock. And there you go, pretty simplistic packaging. Simple, but effective, I like that. And I guess we'll start wrapping all this jazz. Yep. And here's the OLED dock. It's all white and notice the inside. Yeah, it's not felt like the original Switch dock. So that's a nice little improvement. Though I'm a bit concerned if it's gonna scratch the screen or not. So I did order some screen protectors. So they should come in a few days. Okay, so there's a dock. I'll well, unwrap the rest of the stuff, even though I'm not going to use the cables. Oh, I already have the cables on my TV. They're literally the same. It's literally the same HDMI cable and AC adapter. So there's not really a need for me to unwrap these. If, you know, in fact, I'm not going to unwrap them. I'll just keep these as backup. So, you know, if, if these go bad, I have some extra ones. And... Here's the Joy-Con grip, which uh, I'm kind of okay with this, but honestly, I'm better off just using the Switch Pro controller, you know, one of like the 20 other controllers I have, and that collection's steadily growing. I'm going for the cheaper, like, under $60 controllers for the most part. You know, I like to have options, and I mainly do those videos to, you know, get these cheaper controllers, try them out, and let you know if it's worth your money or not. Because, you know, like the saying goes, you get what you pay for, especially when it comes to cheap Switch controllers. There are a ton of Switch controllers out there. And I just want to make sure you're getting your money's worth. Because there are some cheap controllers out there that are surprisingly good. Just ask Gamer Heaven and Red Bandana Gaming. They cover quite a few of them. There are these Joy-Cons, which feel kind of nice, especially fresh out of the pack. Yes, yeah. and they're pretty much the same as the regular Joy-Cons. Not much to say about those. <laughs> those. And the switch itself. Naturally, I'm going to charge it up. Before actually playing with it. Okay, so. Okay, here's the top. I'm holding it upside down. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, looks pristine for now, but I'm going to get screen protectors in a few days. Take that. Here we're going to get the power button, volume controls. The uh, ventilation up here. Let's put it in the camera so you can actually see it. That might help. Anyway, power button, 
exploring controls. There's the, uh, I believe that's the connection button. I'm not sure. I don't even know if there's a button. We have ventilation. We have the game card slot, headphone jack. At the bottom is our Type C port. And the sides we got the rails where you connect the Joy Cons, which just to complete the look. Nice little click. Say what you want the Joy Cons, but you can't deny that click is just a satisfying thing. Okay. There's not too much of a charge here. Let's see if my shitty phone camera can capture this. Nintendo Switch. Oh yeah. I'm not sure I'm going to set this up. And I'm not going to bother filming that. But yeah, this is mainly just an unboxing of the Switch OLED. Glad to finally get my hands on one of these. And yeah, like I said, I'm still keeping the other Switch. I'll just use that for like, you know, playing when I'm at work or whatever, on my breaks and whatnot. And yeah. Nice to finally get my hands on it. Oh yeah, that screen's definitely bigger and definitely a lot clearer. I know if you'll excuse me, I'm going to set this up and have some fun with it. Anyway, this is Evgeny Caleb signing out. Have a good day. Suck it up, life's tough. We know that someone's got better stuff and can throw cash. Tell them I don't give a fuck, make my own path. I don't need no handouts on my own man. Gotta get it, I'll get it, get it in fast, yeah. Got a girl that she'll get it, get it, she bet, yeah. Man, I only get down with the best, on. Uh. I'ma leave the complaints with the rest. Uh.